Hey, I'm Noah, and today I'm reacting to 2001 A Space Odyssey. I don't know much about this movie. I know that it came out in 1968 and is directed by Stanley Kubrick, and it follows some sort of AI space adventure or something like that. And this movie coming out in 1968, which would make 2001 the future of that time. But ironically enough, that's actually the year I was born, 2001. So that makes the dynamic there really interesting. And I think this would be officially the oldest movie I've ever seen, so that's interesting. But I know Stanley Kubrick is a very famous director and has made a lot of classic movies. But I actually haven't seen any of his work, so I'm excited to see what all the hype is about. And I love space stories, so I'm sure I'm going to love this. If you enjoy my reaction, please like, comment, and subscribe. Join the Patreon for full-length reactions. But that's enough talking, let's hop into the movie. A very ominous start. Black screen. I wonder if this is how it started in theaters when it officially came out. Definitely sets a tone. It's crescendoing. Definitely gives an eerie space-like feeling. I can definitely say I've never stared at a blank screen this long in my life. Did this movie invent this song? This song is iconic. When I hear this, I think of Buzz Lightyear. Wow. 2001 A Space Odyssey. That was pretty epic. The Dawn of Man. Beautiful landscape shots. Is this Africa or something? Whoa. Is that an elephant? Got some human or a monkey? Monkey. Just nature being nature. This is definitely the most unique opening to a movie I've ever seen. Oh wow. I feel like that array of animals is a little weird. And these are just like men in monkey suits or something. Pretty realistic. <laughs> what are we freaking out about? I think what this movie's going for, right, is like we're starting with the most primal species. It's like I said, the Don of Man. Then we're gonna go all the way to space travel. We're 10 minutes into this movie without a single word spoken. It's gotta be close to a record. That baby, that baby monkey looks like a real monkey. What's going on here? What the heck is that? A mysterious rectangle. Some sort of technology, right? What does it do? <laughs> A lot of beautiful shots. Now we're back to nothingness. What's he thinking about? That music is so iconic. The monkey learning how to use it, use tools. Evolution. It's evolving. Step one. Got everybody a meal. Seems like everyone's got a tool as well. They must have used real baby monkeys for this movie. Oh god. Are they gonna start fighting each other? 
These monkeys are starting to walk like humans. Oh god. Oh no. The first civil war. God dang. Jump cut straight to space from that. That was a pretty cool intro. We're officially 20 minutes in without a word. It's probably going to be hard for me to even understand how far ahead of its time this movie was. Because this movie came out before we even landed on the moon. It's a pretty cool ship. I wonder if it's relaxing to sleep in zero gravity. Like all these digital screens are probably pretty ahead of its time, right? Filmmakers had to be so creative back then to make stuff like this. No CGI. You are sounding level, please. Oh my god. 25 minutes for their first words. Moon, American, Floyd. Would are. He's going to the moon, huh? Thank you. You are cleared through voice print identification. I go. Like that was probably so cool back in the day. <laughs> I got time for breakfast. Otherwise... These chairs are cool. Wow, is this gonna be like FaceTime? Hello! Hello. How are you, Squirt? Hello. Wow, this is probably so ahead of its time. Are you coming to my party tomorrow? Very sorry about it, but I just can't. It's gonna be Quite a ways away. Bye bye. Happy birthday. Dollar and seventy cents. I think it's cool that they're even trying to predict this stuff way back when. It's awesome. I'm just on my way up to Clavius. Perhaps you can clear up the great big mystery about what has been going on up there. I'm afraid I don't know what you mean. Yeah, what is he talking about? Some extremely odd things have been happening at Clavius. Whenever you phone the base, all you can get is a recording which repeats that the phone lines are temporarily out of order. That's pretty suspicious. It's been going on now for the past 10 days. You mean you haven't been able to contact anyone for the past 10 days? That's right. Seems like a pretty big emergency. Two days ago, one of our rocket buses was denied permission for an emergency landing at Clavius. Well, that does sound odd. Something's definitely gone awry. Quite frankly, we have had some very reliable intelligence reports that quite a serious epidemic has broken out at Clavius, and apparently of an unknown origin. Hmm. I'm really not at liberty to discuss this. Does this guy know what's going on? Uh, we should be given all the facts, Dr. Floyd. As I said, I'm out of liberty to discuss it. Very interesting. It's been a pleasure meeting you all. Very intriguing. So they got some sort of base on the moon? Space food. You just gotta drink it. Oh wow. <laughs> it's pretty cool. It's a pretty crazy way to get to the next room. Why is the room red? It's like a mini Death Star. It's a lot of instructions to use the toilet. Looks to be some sort of camp down there. Those are pretty cool suits. Finally landed. This shot's so cool. How they got all this. Little windows into things. I don't know how they made movies like this back in the day. Congratulations on your discovery. What did we discover? Among the most significant in the history of science. Now, I'm sure you're all aware of the extremely grave potential for cultural shock and social disorientation contained in this present situation. I'm guessing this is about some sort of AI or something. The red lighting makes everything seem so creepy. Still have no idea what to expect from this movie. Here's what started the whole thing. When we first found it, we thought it might be an outcrop of magnetic rock, but all the geological evidence was against it. Huh. Is this some sort of alien technology landed on the moon or something? 
evidence seems pretty conclusive that seems to have been deliberately buried. Deliberately buried. That's interesting. My only guess right now would be like robots that gained artificial intelligence trying to hide something. The only thing we're sure of is it was buried four million years ago. What? Okay, that makes a big difference. Was this like a past human species or something? We're going to explore this foreign technology. Oh. It's the rectangle. I've seen Interstellar and this rectangle kind of reminds me of that walking computer rectangle in that. They're scared of it. I'm loving the music this movie. Really sets the tone. What is it gonna do? Never been so scared of a rectangle. It's just standing there menacingly. Wonder how heavy it is. Gonna get a picture. Oh. Is the rectangle doing that? This shot again. What was it doing? Jupiter mission 18 months later. Is there going to be something on Jupiter as well? What? <laughs> That's pretty cool. That would feel so weird. Oh wow. Looks like a technological eyeball. The cinematography on this movie is top notch, I'll give it that for sure. Three weeks ago, the American spacecraft Discovery 1 left on its half billion mile voyage to Jupiter. In the 1960s, did people really think we would make it that far in 2001? The crew of Discovery 1 consists of five men and one of the latest generation of the HAL 9000 computers. This is the first time that men have been put into hibernation before departure. Why was this done? Makes time go faster. What's it like while you're in hibernation? Well, it's exactly like being asleep. You have absolutely no sense of time. That'd definitely be nice if you have to travel this far. The sixth member of the Discovery crew was not concerned about the problems of hibernation, for he was the latest result in machine intelligence. Here we go. Artificial intelligent computer. Good afternoon, Hal. How's everything going? Good afternoon, Mr. Amer. Everything is going extremely well. Had to give it a creepy voice. You're the brain and central nervous system of the ship, and your responsibilities include watching over the men in hibernation. That is a lot of responsibility. The 9000 series is the most reliable computer ever made. No 9000 computer has ever made a mistake or distorted information. Never. Foolproof and incapable of error. I'm sure that will remain true throughout this whole movie. I enjoy working with people. I have a stimulating relationship with Dr. Poole and Dr. Bowman. So creepy. Do you believe that Hal has genuine emotions? So whether or not he has real feelings is something I don't think anyone can truthfully answer. He better not. That'd be too far. So is this computer gonna go rogue? Hello, Frank. Happy birthday, darling. Happy birthday. Many happy returns of the day. Just a bit of normalcy in all this craziness. See you next Wednesday. Be weird talking to someone knowing they're like a million miles away. Chess. <clears throat> no way you can beat hell. I'm sorry, Frank. I think you missed it. Night takes Bishop. Mate. Was this before in real life when computers beat humans? I remember that was like a monument monumental moment. Have you been doing some more work? A few sketches. May I see them? Sure. That's a very nice rendering, Dave. Wow. The computer can see. That's Dr. Hunter, isn't it? Mm-hmm. I feel like AI is only starting to be able to do this now. During the past few weeks, I've wondered whether you might be having some second thoughts about the mission. Wow. Perhaps I'm just projecting my own concern about it. I've never completely freed myself of the suspicion that there are some extremely odd things about this mission. The computer's having second guesses. Rumors about something being dug up on the moon. 
I find them difficult to put out of my mind. You're thinking too much, Hal. Sorry about this. I know it's a bit silly. Just a moment. Hal's got some real emotions here. I've just picked up a fault in the AE-35 unit. It's going to go 100% failure within 72 hours. That seems like a big issue. Then I suppose we'll have to bring it in, but first I'd like to go over this with Frank and get on to mission control. Something weird about that. Just got the feeling Hal's gonna sabotage us. I'm gonna have to look up how this movie was made. A lot of these effects are just amazing, especially for the time. There's the poster picture, pretty much. Prepare B-Pod for EVA help. Heavy breathing's so... eerie. Who's supposed to be breathing here? The two humans didn't look like they were breathing that hard. Gotta do some spaceship surgery with these things, huh? It's very interesting how this movie makes every little thing take super long time. It's not a bad thing, but it's definitely super unique. He actually has to go out. That's scary. Doesn't even look like he's attached to anything. Just floating in deep space would be the most terrifying feeling. Changing out the battery or something. Gotta be real delicate. I test in the battery. Well, hell, I'm dead if I can find anything wrong with it. Yes, it's puzzling. I don't think I've ever seen anything quite like this before. Hal's up to something. I would recommend that we put the unit back in operation and let it fail. It should then be a simple matter to track down the cause. I don't know about that. We can certainly afford to be out of communication for the short time it will take to replace it. Oh god, that's so scary sounding. Preliminary findings indicate that your onboard Niner Triple Zero computer is in error predicting the fault. Our hell's going wild. We are running cross-checking routines to determine reliability of this conclusion. Oh god, we got a rogue computer. It can only be attributable to human error. This sort of thing has cropped up before, and it has always been due to human error. Does that mean Hal's becoming a human? Are you certain there's never been any case of even the most insignificant computer error? None whatsoever, Frank. Quite honestly, I wouldn't worry myself about that. Of course you wouldn't. <laughs> oh, Frank, I'm having a bit of trouble with my transmitter in C-Pod. I wonder if you'd come down and take a look at it with me. Yeah. See you later, huh? Not suspicious at all. Wouldn't this computer be able to hear you from anywhere? Open the door, Hal. So ominous. Explosive bolts. I just feel like Hal's gonna kill them. Rotate the pod, please, Hal. Rotate the pod, please, Hal. Oh, God. He has to repeat himself now? I don't think he can hear us. Rotate the pod, please, Hal. Yeah, I'm sure we're okay. It's faking. I've got a bad feeling about him. You do? Yeah, definitely. Definitely. You know, of course, though, he's right about the 9000 series having a perfect operational record. Unfortunately, that sounds a little like famous last words. Yep. Records are meant to be broken. Look, Dave, I can't put my finger on it, but I sense something strange about him. Yep. Let's say we put the unit back and it doesn't fail, huh? That would pretty well wrap it up as far as Hal was concerned, wouldn't it? Well, we'd be in very serious trouble. We would, wouldn't we? Mm-hmm. We can't let it fail. If you were proven to be malfunctioning, I wouldn't see how we'd have any choice but disconnection. I'm afraid I agree with you. It'd be tricky. So there is a way to escape? Well, as far as I know, no 9,000 computers have been disconnected. Well, no 9,000 computers ever fouled up before. That's not what I mean. What's gonna happen if you disconnect them? Well, I'm not so sure what you think about it. It's like killing him. Oh, God. Hal can probably read lips. Intermission. This is so weird. We're starting this black screen again. This is such a bold choice. I wonder what the deeper meaning behind this is. Watching this in theaters would have been weird. Okay, so are we gonna listen to what the robot wanted? Or do what the humans wanted? If 
we let those communications fail, I feel like that's when he's gonna kill us all. Is that supposed to be moving? I feel like I don't remember it moving last time. Maybe I'm wrong. Oh god. That actually scared me. What the heck? Did it just like throw him or something? Is he like choking? What the? It just launched itself. What the heck? It's gone rogue. Do you know what happened? I'm sorry, Dave. I don't have enough information. Open the pod door, huh? Oh my god. He's a dead man. Caution. Is he gonna do the same thing to you? Oh my god. Is he just gonna slowly die or is he somehow dead already? He's floating away. What's he gonna do to this guy? Is that him floating out there? Are you gonna be able to pick him up somehow? Is he gonna crash straight into the windshield? This guy's face hasn't changed a bit. We grab him with our hands and bring him back in. Wow. Wonder if he's dead. He's evil. What is he gonna do? Is Hal gonna kill these sleeping people? Definitely has control of we could just cut them off. We gotta start flatlining. No. Oh god. There did. Never stood a chance. Hell is evil. Wow. Wow. Officially dead. I wonder what Hal's motivations are. So creepy. Open the pod bay doors, please, Hal. Is he gonna let him back in? Open the pod bay doors, please, Hal. Hello, Hal, do you read me? Is he gonna, like, blow him up somehow? Do you read me, Hal? He's non-responsive. Do you read me, Hal? Affirmative, Dave. I read you. Oh, God. Open the pod bay doors, Hal. I'm sorry, Dave. I'm afraid I can't do that. <laughs> oh my god. What's the problem? This mission is too important for me to allow you to jeopardize it. What? I don't know what you're talking about, Hal. I know that you and Frank were planning to disconnect me. That is true. That's something I cannot allow to happen. He's saving himself. Where the hell did you get that idea, Hal? I could see your lips move. Yep. Didn't think about that, did you? Should have covered your lips. I'll go in through the emergency airlock. Without your space helmet, Dave, we're going to find that rather difficult. <laughs> Open the doors. Dave, this conversation can serve no purpose anymore. Oh my god. So matter of fact and evil. Al? 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 What is he gonna do? The warning said like explosive bolts on it. So what does that mean? This is insane. Nothing you can do. Is Hal driving you away? Letting him go? Wow. Does he have any control right now? Seems like he's in control. Going through that emergency door. I feel like Hal would have a plan for this though. What's his plan? What does this do? There's a caution explosive bolts again. What is gonna happen? Is he gonna blow up? Okay. 
Launched him in. Seems like he's surviving. He outsmarted you, Hal. But how do you defeat him now? Just what do you think you're doing, Dave? Oh my god. Dave, I really think I'm entitled to an answer to that question. No. <laughs> I did a good job giving this robot the creepiest voice possible. I know everything hasn't been quite right with me. You could say that. It's going to be all right again. We gotta kill I him. feel much better now. <laughs> now you feel better? Look, Dave, I can see you're really upset about this. <laughs> I wonder why. I honestly think you ought to sit down calmly, take a stress pill, and think things over. <laughs> Nope, I think he's trying to kill you. I can give you my complete assurance that my work will be back to normal. Nope, it's too late now. I've still got the greatest enthusiasm and confidence in the mission, and I want to help you. He's really trying to save himself. Dave, stop. They didn't program any emotion into its voice. Stop, Dave. God, <laughs> so creepy. Will you stop, Dave? Seems like there's nothing Hal can really do. Stop, Dave. Taking all its brains out. I'm afraid. Well, that's what you get, man. I'm afraid, Dave. <laughs> Dave, my mind is going. Yeah. I can feel it. Oh, God. I can feel it. My mind is going. This isn't considered a horror movie. Feels like it. There is no question about it. I can feel it. Oh my god. I can feel it. Okay, which one of these do we have to pull where you can't feel it anymore? I'm a. Oh? Great. You slowing down a little? Good afternoon, gentlemen. Oh god. I am a HAL 9000 computer. He's losing it now. My instructor was Mr. Langley, and he taught me to sing a song. Oh, God. I can sing it for you. His voice got deeper. I'd like to hear it, Hal. Sing it for me. Why? It's called Daisy. This is going to be so creepy. Daisy, Daisy, give me your answer to. <laughs> oh, my God. This is awesome. It won't be a stylish marriage I can afford a marriage. Oh my god. Wow. That was amazing. This is a pre-recorded briefing. Now that you are in Jupiter's space and the entire crew is revived, it can be told to you. Oh god, what is it? Except for a single, very powerful radio emission. Aimed at Jupiter, the four million year old black monolith has remained completely inert. What's on Jupiter? Still a total mystery. Wow. Jupiter and beyond the infinite. What in the world is on Jupiter? There's the monolith, or whatever they called it. The ship's still going towards Jupiter. I really like that they use just like this very simple object and made it so menacing. It's amazing. What happened to Dave? The shots are awesome. It's opening up. It's so mysterious. This shot is amazing. This disappears. What is this? Oh my god. We're in like this cyberspace. Dave, Dave's flying into this? What in the world? This is just insane. Is this like the fourth dimension or something? Whoa. It's like a black hole. It's mesmerizing. Wow. 
There's shots of him. I feel like I'm in a trance. Oh my god. It's like a warping him. How did they film this? Oh my god. What in the world is this? This is insane. Oh. I love the way this looks. This is like beyond human comprehension. This is so cool. I have no idea what's happening, but I'm loving it. How is Dave gonna live this? What are those? This is so insane. Never seen anything like this. Are we on Jupiter now? Or what's going on? This kinda looks like the Grand Canyon. So trippy. What's happening to Dave right now? I guess he's still alive. Oh. Blink through all the colors. Now we're back to life. What? We're in like a living room now? Or a bedroom? What in the world? It's like half Victorian, half futuristic. Is he all right in the head? Is he looking at himself? Oh! It's like aged. That just gave me goosebumps. Now the ship's not there. What in the world is happening? Pretty normal bathroom besides the floor. Oh god. We were looking at a mirror. Looks like he's aged 50 years. Is there gonna be like an alien or something? Oh. Just a dude eating? Oh god, he stopped. Is it gonna be like an older version of himself? I think I was right. So weird. What does it all mean? Is the younger version even here anymore? Okay. Now what is it? An even older version of himself. What in the world? Went through like a time vortex. What is he pointing at? Oh god. Monolith. It's so ominous. What in the heck is that? Looks like a baby. Oh god, it is a baby. He aged so far that he's now come back around and he's a baby. <laughs> what in the world? That was incredibly mysterious. Super interesting. Oh my god. Baby's looking at Earth. Is it giant or is it just perspective? Looks creepy. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's a movie. Well, that was incredible. That had to have been the most beautifully shot movie I've ever seen. Just masterful cinematography. And I've definitely never seen a movie like it at all. I had like basically no dialogue throughout the whole thing, but still somehow managed to keep my full attention. And it's still very culturally relevant today with the rise of AI. I'm just really amazed by this movie. I'm sure a lot of it's gone over my head, but I really enjoyed it. I somehow made just a black rectangle so scary and ominous which was amazing. The music, 
The music of this movie was insanely good, especially since most of the time there wasn't any dialogue, so the music was carrying the weight, and it did an amazing job. I really enjoyed Hal. I picked a perfect voice to sound so creepy, and I just loved the way he like slowly descended into madness. And when he was dying there with that creepy song, that was just mind-blowing. And honestly, I don't have much else to say, but I can say this is actually one of my favorite movies I've ever seen. I love space-type stuff, and this was just so unique and beautifully shot. I really enjoyed it. And if you enjoyed my reaction, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you when I see you. Peace.